godlike. Welcome back to game number two of Can't Say Whips vs. Execration. It's gonna be Can't Say Whips trying to jack back the game that Execration took in game one. It's gonna be going into hopefully the first best of three of this tournament with me today. It's gonna be Sander. As always, we do enjoy having you on the stream. And how are you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Really exciting game here before Can't Say Whips just. Didn't get the map control and with the uh, you know the clings and execration just slimmering it down all the time and yeah, they will see if they can do something about it this game. Well I steal off the tusk here from uh, execration side. Yeah, I wanna say the tusk in last game was actually a big factor. You know, the aggressive dual lane they were going on the bottom lane with the undying tusk was just Wow, it kinda seems like they yeah, just once. take the draft from, from Execration and just run that, <laughs> and that works out fine. Yeah, but Execration is already answering back with a different draft uh, than the one from Kensei Wisp. Yeah. Well, they, they're not lacking stun right now. They do have the Earthshaker pick up immediately, so I kind of like that. Um, solid stun, really good team fight ulti, you know, can create a lot of space, mess up the team fights for the opposing team. I really like the hero. Yeah. Also just good being defensively, you know, help out the Shadow in the mid if he needs some help. Yeah. Keep him alive and... Yeah. And he's one of those supports that if you have a level 1 Earthshaker, you can still, you know, do so much. You don't... You don't need your level 2 because level 2, let's be honest, it's it's okay. Nah, and for an Earthshaker, level 2 is like nothing. Exactly. Um, like, for him, is level level 3 starts to be uh, being okay because you get an extra point in your uh, Fissure, but honestly, you need level 5, 6. Yeah, from there on, it's just really seeing the difference in levels. Or the usefulness is, is probably the way of saying it. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a Dazzle and, well, of course, Lashrak and Bloodseeker, Quap as, w as was Wyvern, but Bounty Hunter are going to be banned out by Cancer Whips immediately as the third. Man, Undying also going to be taken out of the pool, so don't really want to deal with that. Um, yeah, they've been out Undying because uh, Execration has the first pick in the second phase, so yeah. they don't want them picking it up. It's really good versus a Klinks in early game because he has almost uh, zero to none uh, HP and strength, so he drops down really, really fast versus uh, Undying, so. Yeah. It's going to be a Dark Superman again. Um, it seems like they just, I think they know Cancer Whips likes to run Darkseer. Was this, I think it was the fourth ban as well last time. Uh, yeah, I think so as well actually. Yeah. It's gonna be a Slaughter. I saw somebody, I saw a lot of people in the chat was like Slaughter or something, something carry. I don't know. I, I will see if I can find it. Uh... Actually, they only played uh, Darkseer once on the side of Cancer Whips. Okay, well that's interesting, but we have yet to see how many. Did they. Did we see how many bans they had on that hero? You know. Um, oh, I can look it up. Uh, it's, neat, it's not in the most banned heroes. Oh, okay. Well. So. I can still. Slaughter, though. I kind of like that hero. Yeah, honestly. Um, Darkseer has been banned. This is the ban, yeah, 17 times versus them. Wow. Execration immediately picks up after the keeper. Gandalf of the Light is back. Yo. Oh, that's really, really nice. If so, he tries to start, tries to jump on somebody, he just use Blinding Knight, throw him up there, then use Mana Leak, and then Slaughter is pretty much just has to stand still. Yeah. And then you're just becoming food for Clinks and a Tusk. But that said, you have, of course, the Shadow Feet Urshake and Witch Doctor to uh, pick up the slack once he uh, get all those things on top of him. Yeah. Good like. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I, have, I haven't actually seen the video. Or heard it, I just saw it. I just play yeah. it, you know? But it's, it's good, it's good. That's it, uh, let's see. Execration hasn't run this slaughter that often either, only four times. It's a pocket strat. Are you ready? Well, it's only 50% win rate, so it's not really the best pocket strat then. Shh. <laughs> it's 50% more than. Darkseer. Yes! I think so. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm not a stat man. 
Yeah, that's why I'm here. I yeah. can just use Dota buff. Yeah, I, I could do that as well, but you know, <laughs> hung over and... Yeah, not today, not today. Though. Yeah, not today. Not today. Oh, wow. It's gonna be a dis... Okay, team fights. Okay. That's what we want with the, with the supports, but... <laughs> everything else is gank oriented Yeah, it's like the two cores at the moment are really, really ganking oriented yeah, but like that said, Keeper of Light is also actually ganking oriented with... Yeah, the... he is, but Disruptor is also... Well, it's like a bit. You usually get a more for the uh, AoE effect and the team fight. Yeah. That said, you can even just use a static storm for it ganking as well. You know, keep the uh, witch doctor from using ultimate. Same from Earthshaker Shadow Fiend. So. Yeah, and it's gonna be a hell to disengage, uh, like engage into that as a sh uh, sorry Earthshaker because if you get stormed, you're you know, fucked. You're just dead. You just die. It's nothing you can do then. Yeah. And if you, let's say, if, yeah, if you go, you can't gank alone either now, because then you just get Glimpse back as well. Yeah. So but you always have to gank as two or three. It's like Christian, given the benefit of the doubt, because they we they looked like the draft last game was kind of shaky to me, at least. Team. Yeah, um, it felt like a... Uh, like, you know, we we talked about the fact that Storm could pretty much sip around, uh, like they Whatever only had a lion, um, and... You know, stuff like that, but in the end, it actually turned out just that Storm was the weakest hero, I think, in the last game. Yeah, he, he did the least. Um, and, and then, you know... That was also just due to the way they laned it. Exactly. Um, I think swapping Miguel's and uh, 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 Lord Boone's around would probably have been better. It would have helped, definitely. Uh, uh, because I think Storm... Or maybe even go aggressive, to be quite honest, just yep. to evade that strong... Lane on the uh, radiant side. Yeah, on the die side. I mean, with the tusk and uh, and dying. And dying. Yeah. I think Bristol would have been okay with it. You know, he yeah. wouldn't have died as much. Um, maybe, maybe you know, keep a one or two uh, TPs up, just yeah. so you know you can save him if he has struggle. I think if you if you ran a um, like a, a dual lane, uh, like uh, Wyvern and and Bristol on the bottom, and then mm -hmm. having you know. Storm on the top lane with uh, with the last support there, and uh, and then of course uh, Miguel's mid I think would have been a bit easier. Uh, Definitely. But they just didn't want to swap the lanes around. It's gonna be a brood mother. It's gonna be a rat mother coming up for the side of execration, and wow, they really need something to deal with the with the spiderlings. Get the guy keeper. Yeah, they got Keeper, Disruptor is not that good, Tusk can actually destroy them quite fast with the shards and the snowball combi. Be a tinker. And of course a Tinker. Wow. So the mid lane is all magic based here from both sides. I think this is the first time in the new patch I've seen a Tinker being picked up. Second time maybe. Second time. Second time. Second time. I think it was uh, Excalibur who played the first Tinker I saw after the new patch. Which is not that new anymore, but you know, like just keep <laughs> saying new patch because it just... For you, is a new patch. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's see how they're gonna do this then. So it's. It's probably gonna be Miguel's mid, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be mid on the uh, on the Tinker here. Let me look up their stats. Tinker, twenty-four games, fifty percent win. Win rate. Yes. Okay. Wow. Let me look at Miguel's and. Yes, Tinker's okay versus Brood. Tinker's okay versus Brood. I think the only, like, Lord Boons is gonna have a tough time. Versus Brood. On lane? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, he is so low HP, but, you know, you do have the help from uh, Numot and uh, and Godot. So you at least have that. And with Mana Leak, is fairly effective. Yeah. As well as, of course, just eliminate the eliminate the eliminate. Hello, me <laughs> to kill off the, the spiderlings. We're doing English speaking lessons on the yeah. <laughs> on the I, I always call it Illuminati. I, I don't know. I just like to call it that. Illuminati. Yeah, I don't know why. It's a good. It's a good name. It's, it's a good it's name. A, it's but... a sexy name. Yes. No question about it. It's, uh, Indeed. Look at Primo. <laughs> My God. Jesus. Hope you're happy. You're happy, you asshole. <laughs> Jesus, broodmother, man. Really? Really? Damn. Destroying trees. Yeah. Shit. Like, there's not enough global warming already, and he just starts destroying them. Yeah. Oh, Velo. Oh, Velo. He's gonna be in a bit of trouble on the bottom lane, but should be okay. Fisher. 
Not gonna block them off in rows. I should go for boots first. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess that's okay. <coughs> Expecting a gank mid, like last game? Yeah, maybe as well. It's just, it's just nice. Yeah. I don't think they will gank mid that fast, because they need to secure their boons, at least some kind of farm in the beginning. Yeah, and... I mean... Miguel's, I mean, he's only level 1, he's not going to be doing too much of anything, right? He's going he's gonna to have a laser up, and well, he's going to actually scout out Primo immediately, and then, well, immediately ward it up. That's going to be eaten, and wow. Yeah, Quelling Blade is just so good versus that. Damn. And now, if he puts down another one, he knows he will get it insta-destroyed, so I... Oh, but he does it? He what? While he gets it. He uses he, he Tango. He uses he Tango. He uses a tango. No, no, I used the uh, the quantum blade. Oh, he uses it. Uh, yeah, the disruptor used a tango. Okay, I thought I was already thinking like what? Yeah, exactly. Because you, yeah. you just saw it getting destroyed by a quelling blade, like that's pretty ballsy. But yeah, he was prepared. Yeah, well, they don't actually. He's one century ahead now because of that. So, Tinker, gonna be reconnecting. Hope to dear God that we are not gonna have a rehost or anything like that. No, uh, just Lex back here. Casual, casual. Lag spike, apparently. It's not a lag spike. Well, he actually gets it. Wow, okay. No sentries. At all. Uh, that means that there's a 1 for 2 trade in sentry wise here, so good for Primo. Yeah. That means that they have to get another uh, set coming to them. And Well, they actually do have one left on Godot. They do, well, he's in the jungle stacking up. And well. I think Urshikar and Cuddle are going to have the same roles here in the start of the game. Going to be pulling as much as they can and probably going to be securing their uh, their cores here. As uh, well, Miguel's going to be. I think they're going to be okay here in the mid lane. Shadowfiend versus Tinker. Who do you think right now? Oh, Primo. Gotta watch out. He's <laughs> Numo's confused. He's like, what the, f what the fuck, what the, what the fuck. Bottom lane. It's going to be Velo. Target of choice, and uh, he's a dead tusk. Oh, what, Nando? Just eat through the tree, man. Uh, yeah, just, just, just. There we he go. could have just eaten through the tree there. Oh, Ooh, he comes back. Oh. He needs to be careful. There's a lot of creeps here. Velo. He doesn't have anything. Uh, if he had his snowball and Asher's already before he came in, he could actually just blow up Nando there. But yeah. sadly, he just leveled up. Well, the tower's already getting some damage here on top. It's almost nothing, but you know, it's a good start. Wait yeah. to start again. And what do you think it's going to be Primo's build up? Is it going to be is it going to be Orchid versus the Clanks or is it going to be a Necrobook build um or Midas into Dagon? Yeah, it's... like that. Are we going to see that again? Um I I'm not completely sure what he will go to be quite honest. It's really just too early to say right now. Yeah, how the game develops and Yeah. Like if you get like if you get farm you always go for Midas on Brute. It just gives so you more potential. Yeah. He yes. actually has a second set of uh, sentries now, the brood. So, in in the event they go for, you know, as they have done right now, um, he's gonna eat it immediately. There we go. Yeah. And, well, and keeps his own life. Oh. Yeah, that is annoying to deal with. So a bit of a sentry war going on in the top lane, and of course brood is gonna be able to win this pretty easily. Uh, Since he gets farm and supports almost zero to none. Exactly. They just have to do it with the gold that they gain statically. Yeah. Well, I'm. Looking forward to the timing on the Sloan or Blink, if that is what he's going to be going for, uh, which is probably the most likely. I think if he can get it really, really fast before Miguel has a uh, BOT, it should be more oh, than BOTs? possible. Okay, yeah. Then, then he can just keep on going after him, keep on yeah. killing him, and then you can just completely shut down the Tinker. Yeah. I think that should be their uh, main priority at the moment. Just if you can keep Tinker down, keep his BOTs, you know, to like the furthest possible timing, then it's. Yeah, because if he gets out of control, Tinker, he's got a lot of tar targets to choose from. Uh, Indeed, and then you can see like the, the combination with the Klinks and the Tinker, you know. Go to a creep, Klinks is already waiting there, and then they just kill the person that's close there. Yeah. Kimo actually trading here a bit with Velo. Yeah, uh, harassing him out a little bit, so. Brood? Gonna be going for the soul ring pretty much quickly as as quickly as possible. We're gonna be a four minute, thirty second uh, soul ring, I think, something like that. Is gonna open up the lane extremely for uh, for Primo here on the top lane. By that time, I think Flinks is gonna have 
a rough time. He can trade with Primo, fine, but what, once the Spiderlings get to Infect, it's it's gonna be hell on this lane. Yeah, just one nuke, pretty much, on Clings just brings him down to half of his HP. Yeah. If he is, uh, let's say, level 4 Spiderlings, that is. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, he's got it out. He's like, well, Shadow Fiend's got a stack, boys. I'm just saying. We need to... We need to watch out. He's actually gonna rotate in and... Does he find the Shadow Fiend? Yes, he does. But can he go on this? He's still fairly close to the tower. Yeah. I don't think they can get anything done. No, Miguel's is it went for the laser plus march build, so he doesn't really have the long range uh, damage tools that he needs in a rocket. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be uh, soaring now as well as boots uh, power threats being picked up by slaughter. So looking pretty good for the side of uh, of uh, execration right now and getting some items done here and there. Brood almost level five, and well, slowly but surely the brood army is coming together as. Well, Bruin's actually managing the lane quite nicely, considering he is solo right now, at least for the time being, against the Broodmother. Godot. It's going to take up some farm here, as he's also been stacking the jungle quite heavily for his team. Um, we have um, two double stacks and Velo. Oh, he just got stunned up by the cask. Is he, are they able to crush him down? Well, oh, there is going to be the, the snowball. Oh, he uses the shot, but the shards are off the mark, so he gets forward and actually blocks himself in as well here. And, he will take the spill. On the top lane though, a bit of trading as Primo does go down. Um, so I guess a one for one in the end. But I'm 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 kind of you know they need to keep tabs on Miguel's. They need a fast blink as you said. If he gets out of control, um, yeah. Rough That's it, Miguel. He's gonna go for a uh, soaring of his own. Yes, he's gonna go that first. He's gonna trust on these stacks to get him back up. Yeah. Oh, there are some mud golems in there. That's unlucky. Where Don't are you? Yeah, on the medium camp at the river. Oh yeah. But still, it doesn't matter that much. No. He can still kill him. Yeah. And he will need him. Yeah, got soul rings galore coming out on this. Uh, on this game. Yeah, everybody goes for it, goes for this game. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I also prefer it a lot when you're playing a support, anybody actually, you know, getting uh, Tranquils and then Sol Ring, just because you can just... Gank all yeah, the time. Exactly, you don't need to go back or anything because your health is always, you know... Up, you always have mana and yeah. Yeah, you have nice regen, but the problem is with it is that you're so... Well, thinking about yourself only. Yeah, that's that is correct. Like you, there's not just just really really solo build, dude. I always solo. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Man, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> All these spiders. I think he might try to go something onto Numat here. He's taking just one punch of these spiders, or brings him down to 25 of his HP to gone. Yeah. Clicks actually hasn't been shut down as as badly as I was expecting. You know, um, Primo. Playing about more farming brood, uh, not as aggressive as you might expect here on the top lane, at least not for now. Um, level 6 here in a few moments and... Miguel's just took out some stacks. Just needed one more K more gold and then he's able to get his... Uh... Beauties, yeah. That is... That is a concern. That's a good ready. timing there. Yeah, Nano exactly. doesn't have his, uh, his blink yet, he needs 700 gold. So... Here we go, do we see one more? Nope, he's gonna back off. Think. Or is he? No, he is. Lane, Nando. Going to throw Wilo and Lord Boone's actually rotating in here on the bottom lane. So the core um, the hard carry for the side of Kansi Whip's actually rotating down to the bottom lane. Yeah, and this does mean that Numov has to stay really, really close to his tower because he will get jumped instantly. Yeah. But this Prim, like Primo now has all the space in the world to uh, get the levels he needs. And, and it is probably going to be the a minus build. He's yeah. got 1.1k in the bank, and well, okay, Numo. As you said, needs to watch out. They're all rotating. In. I think he can dive him, honestly. Well, well they're rotating in. TP. It's already too late. They're rotating in. Yeah, Lord Boons coming back. Godof is close as well. He has mana leaks, so. Yeah, well, here we go. <laughs> gonna be a death pack here and there, and Link's gonna scout up Primo, but it is gonna get whiffed. Lord Boons. Farming up again. I think that was an unnecessary rotation down to the bottom lane. Um, I did just try to to create some space, keep Nano down, but to no feel that is sadly. Yeah. 
shards to fly it through, but it doesn't really connect to anything. And it's well, just well, about the shards. <laughs> just, just want to farm. It seems like right now. Yeah, they're content. It's like the complete opposite of last game where they get kills left, right, and center. Right now they're playing really conservative. Only three kills in nine minutes. So yeah, this is really going to be a, a ganking clinks here. He builds up towards a medallion. Yeah, that is crazy. And well, Primo going to be uh, mana leaked up. He is dusted as well, so he needs to be careful here. He's going to pop the mana leak though, regardless. And well, Primo taking a drop yet again. Here we go, Rude. Actually picks up Keeper on the back foot there. So. Nicely done with the spiderlings and well, a one for one. At least no trade goes unpunished. Yeah. And that's a boot to travel now being secure on Clinks as well. Oh sorry, uh, Tinker as well. So it it's nice scary now. Minutes. Yeah. Now they're gonna really get their global going. Oh well, wow. Chemo. Snowball oh it just connects barely shards are there as well and he should take a fall here. Yeah. And now it begins, man. Now it begins. What Nendo? He's walking. He's taking a lot of damage from this. Wow. If he dies now, that's. He, he's got blink now. He, ca he can get it. Yeah. Good. Top lane. Primo. And he's he's lucky he didn't get sharded there. Yeah. Just picked up the blink dagger. <clears throat> Sitting in the cure probably here, and well, he needs to be careful though. Level six on Velo now. Almost. Yeah. There we go. You can kill him if he wants to. I think. He's looking. He's looking for the opening. Yeah, he has enough. Here we go. There we go. He goes in. Then no, bloop, into the air. Oh, oh the fish there. They were ready for this. They're rotating in more. Philo is low. They just needed one more punch. There we go. Wow, oh. well, good rotation in. And, well, just dodging the, uh, the the missile there or the lasers as I think it was TPing in. But in the end, couldn't secure the kill. Who do you think late game wise has the better your lineup like is it is it gonna be tinker the Late tinker? game wise it's always tinker once you get the side one versus one is always tinker with a the side there's no if chance if can whips can get through the mid game because mid game wise i think execration oh. are are stronger with yeah. the, the supports are just way more fighting oriented and they have a good ganking lineup yeah. and tinker does need time to get completely online the first step is of course the the bot's with soaring now he needs to start looking at uh blink after that, Dagon, maybe even Ghost Setter. Yeah. And yeah, he's still a long road off, but it's Tinker with BOTs, pre 10 minutes, he should be fine. Yeah, he's, he's. if you look at the net worth actually, Shadowfiend, of course, being the big winner in all of this, he's been stacking and, and, and being stacked for the, the, f the first few minutes of the game, thanks to Urshaker as Radiant well as Witch Doctor, so he's, he's doing okay. He's he gets his uh, mecha match. delivered. Yeah. I think it's being delivered right now, the full thing, right? Yep, yeah. it is. So he's he's gonna be near unkillable. I mean, Tinker can't really solo him um, anytime soon. Oh no, it's without Rose making a big mistake. Oh. Top lane, Nando with a blink dagger, blinks back and well, disengages immediately. Forces a TP coming out for Tinker, so nothing too big. Um, it's, it's just a Tinker TP. <laughs> yeah. oh, rotating in, Lord Boon's gonna be scouting out Nando here, so just keeping track on the slaughter. And I think I rotate out to kill him though. That's a real question here as. But he's still there. Yeah, that is the enemy jungle, Nando. This is not where you're supposed to be. There's gonna be the snowball in on him. He gets punched into the air, and Lord Boons picks up the kill here. Yeah. That was, that was just, aggressive. That was way too aggressive, as we talked about the first game. They, you know... Hmm. Linger around a little bit too long, and... Yeah. There's gonna be the fissure on Miguel's. There's gonna be the, the Death Ward as well. He's still alive for now, but yeah, he will kill, get killed off by the Witch Doctor here. Oh, glimpse back onto Foxy. He gets up the Echo Slam on Lord Boons. He's getting locked down and he's gonna die here. Well, Fox will take a fall towards Numo. But Numo now is the next one on the list. There's gonna be the cat's gonna get another bounce on top of him. No, it, can, it goes the other way. But still, Rose is there with the raises. That's a three for one trade on the uh, on the bottom lane. Is. Well, good trades, good trades. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It's gonna be a T1 tower going as well, the favor of Execration. The Blink Dagger top was not used to, to full efficiency, but it doesn't really matter if your team plays well. Indeed, well, they're gonna go after Primo here. He, they keep him followed up with the Sigil, but they can't stop him from walking into the trees here. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, he still wants to get the cow, and he will. He gets a Mana League on top of him as well. He's still alive here. 
But they come in here with Nando. Miguel, he's found again. He gets amplified damage on top of him. He's taking a lot here. Well, Philo is able to find Primo, but now he's low. Yeah, Ooh. that's going to be Miguel Didn't taking the drop here as well. It's going to be a stun up. And well, what is Nando doing? He's focusing down that the sigil. sigil. But he has a blink. There's going to be the Fissure. There's going to be a crush as well. He's taking a lot of damage. Lord Boons comes in. Is he going to be able to fight up versus this? Yes, he is. There's going to be the glimpse back on Nando. He gets caught in the kinetic field. No sugar get out, he should be okay. Yeah. So, an explosive, you know, mid game right now as both teams really want to fight, it seems. Um, especially the side of Execration. Um, whereas I think Can't Say just want to hold their towers. Can't really say they're doing a good job. They've lost their tier 1 towers in the first or the, the, the past oh. four minutes or oh, so. Oh, what? Fox? No? Oh, he's going to get this DD stolen just underneath of him by Lord Boots. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That, that, that sucks. That's, that's diminishing. Oh. And well, I'm. Um, what do you think? It's gonna be a BKB coming out for Shadowfin. So he's looking really big. He's got 9k in the bank or 9k net worth in the bank. Ooh, 9k. Yeah, he's he's big. Okay. <laughs> Damn. If he had the still also in the bank, man. Whoop. Yeah. GG. That would be good. I would love 9k. You should always have 9k in the bank, even if you buy something 9k back. Yeah, man. just it doesn't matter. It's fine. Full slow that at six min at yeah. one minute then. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna go chemo. He, he build up an urn. Okay, a little bit there. Pretty normal. Maybe start building up towards a uh, a glimmer cape. Yeah, it would be a nice item this game. I think that would be the correct item to go on Witch Doctor. Yeah, in this game definitely. Yeah, because so much magical damage flying through, and it just makes a lot of sense to. Also, it can help uh, Rose and Nando with initiating. Yeah. Same for Fox. So it's just such a good and utility item. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, my voice is. Yeah, almost at the sneeze. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. Well, Fox, he's actually having a quite good run. If it keeps going like this, he will have a 20 minute blink. Yeah, he's, he's 117 right now, looking really strong. He's been pretty much all over the kills. He's he's missed two only, but that's, I mean, considering he's an Earthshaker and has, has only has one death to his name. It's more than good. That's, that's really good. Lord Boons out in the uh, raiding jungle hit again and dark backing their creeps, stealing their farm or jungle in this case. Fox. Oh, he sees him. Yeah. He, he has sentries, but that's not enough to to keep him here. No. He needs to block him off right now. There's a sentry on the low ground, so if he finds him here. Oh, what he walked. Oh, he gets fissured up right now. There's oh, gonna be no. a blink of Nando amplified damage. There was the wrong way to walk, Lord Boons. Yeah. Well, there we go. Bottom Bones lane, turn to ash. Yeah. Bones turn to ash, exactly. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh. Oh, he has a glimpse though, but he has to. Wow, oh, look at the damage. One, one, or, one or two right clicks and he would have, you know, look at that. Wow, a long range initiation oh. from Nando. And, well, Velo, taking a drop here. Wait a second. Yeah, there's the vision to keep him in, making sure that he can't snowball out and just get all the damage from the death, uh, death ward on top of him. And they know there's water here <laughs> just because they destroyed the sigil there. And they're gonna get a tier two here. Well, Yells, he, he finally gets his blink. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Well, 12k in the favor of execration. Wow. Yeah, they're ahead right now. This yep. is almost a K per minute. It's, it's gonna be tough. And all that time, they just have. Primo doing whatever he wants on top. He has 3.5k gold. Yeah, I'm curious to see what he's actually going to pick up. We haven't seen. He did. He did pick up the Midas as we yeah. kind of predicted. Um, but after that, it kind of is like, is it a Dagon? Is it a Necro? Is it a BKB Orchid? Yeah, it's so many options. Yeah, it's going to be Aegis going on to Shadowfiend 70. Oh, sorry, 18 minutes in, and with that, I don't. It's going to be rough. TPN Nando. Ooh, wow, he was. Whew. He was close, and you know, with the with the four man plus one uh, going on right now, you know, Primo creating space on the top lane, and the rest of his team just being as being a threat being to the a side of Kings. Just yeah. taking the towers one by one. Yeah. Well, here we go. Push comes out mid. Rose leading the charge. Chemo on the on the back foot here as um, Nando on the front lines, and they just can't seem to to do anything right now. Tinker, not even 
wanting to go in with Marsh is just like, well, nope, I can't. Uh, it's going to be Godot, Gold upon, and well, can they pick him up though? Yeah, they can, and Urshik is going to secure the kill. He's got bling daggers now as well if he wants to. That's going to be Aegis popped, and well, they really want a good team fight here. Jarofian going to walk out, and well, should be okay. Oh, Lord Boons. Reengage here. As Philo. Kimo, it's going to be... Yeah, they're going to go on Philo here. He's going to get stunned up. This lockdown is strong. And he is just not able to do anything while Numo gets focused down next. Lord Boons, he has amplified damage on top of him. He's gonna die here as well because he's just not able to man fight versus this Shadow Fiend. Full, full on team wipe. Full on team wipe. And now the top lane is just perfectly pushed in by the Primo here and they just can continue here. Yeah, that was 2k, sorry, 3k almost going in the favor of Execration. Yeah, with the towers as well here, that is easy 4 5k. Yeah, and they're actually going to be going in again. Godot just can't stay in one place at a time. He's going to take a drop here again, and look at that Rose just pounding through the Keeper. Like, he's he's made a paper, essentially. He is made a paper. This might just be the end for uh, Kenzo Whips already. They're pushing in all the towers. They have no more map control, although they are the one having the clings now. Yeah. They have zero tier 1s. Tier 1s, only the mid one seems to be close to dropping. Yeah, and here we go. Nando. Actually making uh, Numo waste his, uh, his kinetic field and well, he's gonna be gold upon again though. Is it gonna be enough though, Nando? Taking the drop, all tier Vigilo gonna be taking the drop as well, so that's a, a one for run right now. And Miguel's gonna Sorry, die as well, that's just... They're just know. getting blown up all the yeah. time here. Good Requiem there coming out with the BKB on it. They will start to try and retreat here, but there's gonna be the glimpse on Rose. He gets punched into the air, he's gonna get damage on top of him. He might just die here, yes he will. Not able to take anybody with him, and uh, they just start to return him. While Primo is able to get the top tier three as well. Yeah, this is that was Honestly, a 2k they... net worth change in the favor of 2.5 k net worth change in the favor of Cancer. If they pick up another kill on the Witchstalker hero. Honestly, it already doesn't matter that much because <laughs> there's still more than 20k goals behind. Yeah, it it doesn't even come close to evening anything. No, Shadow Blade on your shaker now. FDR and the, oh my god, those towers just really give the supports so much farm here. Yeah, that is a Shadow Blade on the Urshik. <laughs> it might just be a great Urshik if they can get to it. And yeah, top lane Miguel's should be he, okay. Lord Boons, he's amplified damage though, but uh, they get Mana Leak on Nando, so he has to stand still here while he gets a medallion on top of him. He gets a lot of damage. He've, Gets for himself a four step forward, eliminate. He's gonna miss, oh. and Miguel <laughs> gets locked up in the corner there, and they shadow blade out and start running away for their life. Yeah, and they need to watch out though, on the side of Cancer Whips. Uh, also, Broadmother picked up the Orchid. Broadmother picked up the Orchid, okay, okay, that's good. Good to know. With Glinks, well, starting to build up for, for either Daedalus or BKB, it's, it's still really, really easy to kill by, uh, by Primo. Yeah. Given that you can stay close to it. Wow. Yeah, you can't go into your own jungle anymore. No. It's now Primo's jungle. This is Brood's jungle, and you have no business being here. Well, they're gonna find another kill probably here on Godot, and well, it's gonna be the third gear on And Godot. now Philo is next on the list. He's getting a lot of damage, and there you go. Robin gets up the kill. Dominating. Like, what can I do? Even if they. Try to stall it. You always have a broad mother pushing in top, can just able to do damage on a range wreck all the time. Well, Nando goes in and he will die. Yeah, that was too I, aggressive. I, 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 yeah, just, he's been he's been playing really well, but also really aggressively this game. And sometimes he's been well cut out. Which out of position? Bloodstone. Yeah, he went for that. That's yeah. I don't, honestly, that's not the item that you should go for in my eyes. But yeah, it, it doesn't really matter that much. Just so far ahead anyway. Is this a pub game? Can we? Uh, it might be. Can, can we? Can we can <laughs> Are we, we in the correct lobby? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, realistically speaking, why don't I like the Bloodstone here? Well, it's nice to get a little bit more tankiness. It's nice to have more mana regen, but he doesn't need that. If you can get a Glimmer Cape or a Glimmer Cape plus... Uh, Agonyms? Is it Agonyms? Yeah, then yeah. You, have, you have more. Yeah. You just have way more worth out of it. It's, it's just a little, It costs a little bit more, but it's just more, so much better for you. Yeah. Well, Shadowfin also has a butterfly now, so he's gonna be. <laughs> well, Klinks is gonna have shit, huh? Yeah, he's... He has a Desolator now. He, was, he, he still can man fight them. <laughs> this is a problem, oh. even with the Deso. Yeah. Yeah. He, go. He's gonna see Rose now, and then what? 
He's gonna find him? Hell no, he's run away for his dear life. run away from Rose. And, well, they're waiting for Roche. Well, Roche is two more minutes. I think they should know that it will take a long time. They're just waiting for the... Uh, for the rune spawn here. Yeah. Elite Lord Moon gets the... Uh, the DD here. Well, Primo starts to get out. He has a blink dagger as well. Laying down some webs. Claiming this jungle and top lane. While Miguel's, he just gets chewed up. I'm kind of surprised they haven't GG'd out. They must feel that they're like... <laughs> well, this your tournament live on the line here. This is a loser no, round two. I know, I know, Sorry. but you know... Ah, it's yeah. a rough game. It's a rough game. I, there's like... I want to say almost no chance to them coming back. There's always some wow. chance, but it's so low. Yeah. Pop down a ward. This ward might just get destroyed here. But no, they won't. Oh, oh wow, Nando, Nando though, he will die. That's a good use there, but Rose, he's now fighting up versus Lord Boons. Lord Boons has to run away here. They already have three people down. There's going to be the four from Philo, and the only one. thing they get for it is Nendo. Yeah. And here we go. It's going to be Rax mid, and I can probably guarantee you Rax top as well. Yeah, well, sorry. Primo already uh, took Rax top. So. Yeah, he's going to get the range now as well there on top. Well, same happens here on, uh, on mid, and uh, can't say we stay GG out. Losing the Rax was too much. Yep. Set up a Tori, work room of souls coming out from Rose, wanna show off their rings and uh... Hello guys. That's it. That was it. If you want to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and etc., you can follow us at Erasmus TV pretty much on every social media aspect. You can follow Sander on Twitter as at Madness Casting. At Madness Casting, and you can follow me, the maker on at the maker with a three at the end instead of an E. So guys, um, that was all we had for today. We're going to be running some ads. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, and we'll be shutting down the stream. Hopefully we're going to be having more games tomorrow. Well, we are going to be having more games tomorrow. Mm, let me check which games they are. Mineski then. versus Trust and the loser of Mineski versus Trust uh, versus Arcanus is the game. Oh, well, is Mineski uh, versus Trust is already... Uh, tomorrow, yeah. Did they plan it in? Uh, no, uh, but it's just there. I just see it there, like the 11th of se uh, of, of July um, is Mineski versus Trust. Ah, okay, yeah, they put it there, so... Yeah. Okay, okay. And then the loser of that match goes up against Arcanus in the next best of three. So guys, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Um, CST is the, where the stream starts and 6 p.m. Um, SGT time. So yeah, that was it for Erasmus TV covering Dota Talk TV on MSI Southeast Asia Dragon Battle. Yeah. So, yep. Guys, gonna be playing some music again. Well, that was it. Peace.